So we've all been in quarantine for about a month now. And I think we're maybe thinking, I'm bored. I need something to do with my life. I have no purpose. Well, I'm here to help. Um, today I have 47 mildly unoriginal ideas for what you can do in quarantine. Maybe you'll find it helpful. Probably not, but I... All right, so the first thing that you have to do is get out of bed. And I know you're thinking, well, yeah, duh, but it's a lot harder than you think. And are you watching this in bed right now? Because I know I would be. After you get out of bed, what you should be doing is make your bed. And I know that this one is also difficult. As you can probably see, I physically struggle to make my bed. Once you're done, you can't get back in. You just have to lie on top and, I don't know, feel bad about yourself? Next thing to do is get dressed. I know that we're keeping it pretty simple here. Look at my fun dance moves. I'm so excited to get dressed in the morning. But look, ooh, you can try out new outfits. I've never worn this combo before, and you know what? It's cute. Additionally, you can do your laundry, but there is a contingency that once you wash it, you do have to put it away. So, I don't know. Bear that one in mind, I guess. After that, you can emerge into the scene. Go into your kitchen, perhaps. I look really excited to be doing so and you can make coffee. Now you can try out one of those fancy fluffy coffees if you want, but recently I've just been drinking it black, which is probably not the only red flag that you'll see in this video. Look at that, addict activity. Anyways, what else can we do in the kitchen? Oh yes, here's me reenacting when I made stew. Cooking is a great activity to do during quarantine, though I would caution against stew specifically because of the beans and the containment aspect. Um, if you saw my last video, you know that I baked a lot. I baked some muffins, some cookies. The best thing about baking is that you can then eat it. I've eaten probably, I don't know, like 30 cookies in the past like two weeks. It's not great, but look how happy I am, I guess. Once you've eaten that many cookies though, we must pay the price and that is an at-home workout. Ugh, okay. Another thing you can do is have a dance party. Just let loose. This is me just absolutely jamming to some Broadway show tunes, having a great old time. Okay. You can also just actually learn how to dance. This could be a TikTok dance, but for me, I decided to whip out the tap dancing skills that I spent 12 years working on and then promptly never used again. Also, I've been stretching because my chiropractor is closed and that means my body is starting to cave in on itself. So stretching can be important as to not die, for me at least. So yeah, highly recommend that one. You can also just like go for a walk outside if like you're into that. I'm sometimes into it. It's kind of a giant game of chicken, but once this is all done, I'm not calling you unhygienic, but like you should shower. And I, yes. You can also, while you're in the bathroom, have a mental breakdown. Oh, sorry, I mean, uh, chop off all your hair. It could be really fun. You could look like a lesbian housewife. You really won't know until you try. I also, when I was being an insomniac, went to the store to get melatonin and came back with an epilator. Uh, here you can see me doing my hairy neck. I did also try to do my armpits, but I got through half an armpit and then gave up because it hurt so much. And then I shaved my legs to make myself feel better. This is not me recommending that you go out and canoodle during quarantine. I just think, you know, you could feel better if all your body hair is gone. Also, when you're eating that many cookies, your skin starts to hate you. So that, this is me, uh, washing my face. And then flossing. I know we always say we don't have time to floss, but look, now we do. And so after quarantine, when you go to the dentist and they ask if you floss, you don't even have to lie. And this is also me getting, uh, getting the floss stuck in my retainer. Another face product. We can do a face mask and also look like a Smurf, a member of the Blue Man Group, or a latex glove. The choice is up to you. You can also make other versions of masks. Um, probably not this clown mask, but I mean to each their own. Um, I did, was actually talking about one of these kinds of masks. You can find so many tutorials on how to make these masks in case you decide to go out in public to like, I don't know, get groceries so you don't starve. I did not follow a tutorial for this one. I completely winged it, but it could work out. Just make sure you're cleaning it properly. While we're being crafty, I also started embroidering. As you can see, I did one whole stitch on this Frida Kahlo kit, but I'm working on it. I also painted these three paintings during my insomnia spree. And I also did my dishes, so I'm really proud of them, as you can tell. You can do some drawing, you can also do some coloring pages. I'm lucky enough to just own this lovely pack of Peppa Pig 
coloring pages, but if you don't own something like this, print it off. I just love how intensely I'm coloring this. But what can you do while you're coloring, while you're doing all these fun artistic activities? I'm glad you asked. You could listen to some podcasts or an audiobook, but this is not sponsored by Audible, believe it or not. Um, additionally, if you're one of my theater folk out there, this is a great time to listen to new musicals. If you're not into musicals, just new music in general. Beautiful. Wonderful stuff. I'm so proud, aren't I? Ah, anyways, you can also you can also learn an instrument. So I've been learning the piano again. Um, if you don't have a piano, you don't have an instrument, maybe dig up that recorder that's been collecting dust. I'm sure your family would love to hear you play it. If you want to get even crazier, you could even write your own song. Maybe you're not into music, write a story, write a poem, maybe even write the essay that you've been procrastinating. On that note, let's talk about the, the actual work that you should be doing. But if you want to go on your computer with no responsibilities, here's a fun activity. Online shopping. Just add anything that you think is fun. Add it to your cart. Really load it up. See that dollar sign get higher and higher and promptly close the tab. I know it's going to be hard, but you got to close it. You probably don't have money. If you want some time away from your screen, you can, dare I say, read a book. Maybe if you're not into fiction, a non-fiction book will suit your fancy. On this productivity trend, let's also talk about cleaning. Here's me cleaning my counter in my kitchen, and here's me cleaning up the broken glass from the tampon jar that I broke during the filming of this video. You're also probably spending a lot of time looking at the exact same wall, so this is a perfect time to fantasize about your home decor dreams. But if you just want to relax, you want to maybe sit on your butt and watch some movies, that's a great idea. But what I recommend is to watch them with a purpose. You know, I'm personally trying to watch all the Disney Animation Studios movies. My friend's trying to watch all the Marvel movies. If you pick something that you're going to binge selectively, you feel more accomplishment, and that's a fact. Additionally, you can look at old photos of yourself. It will be painful, but it will be worth it. Another thing, you could do a puzzle. Here is an Olaf 3D puzzle that I got for my birthday. It's probably better than any puzzle you own, I will admit, but look how much joy it gave me. So much. Now, let's talk about actually talking to people. You can, oh, dare I say, FaceTime your friends and family. I know, I know, bold. But if you have nothing to talk about, I recommend playing words with friends. Me and Amin are obsessed with playing words with friends to the point that it's toxic for our relationships. Another thing that you can do is do Zoom calls with your friends where you guys give presentations on really stupid things. Couple options here are the top 10 One Direction songs. I even tried to do a karaoke over Zoom. It didn't go very well, but the thought counted. And our second last thing, number 46, is get your head out of your ass. I think we just all need to realize that yes, times are hard, but boredom is not the worst thing in the world. You could be, oh, I don't know, dying of an illness, carrying an illness to somebody else. There's a lot of things that are worse than boredom. However, lastly, number 47. This is not to discount the way that all of our lives have been affected by the pandemic, so don't be too hard on yourself if you're not being extremely productive because guess what? Like, there's literally a crisis going on. So you don't have to do 47 things every single day. You can do one. Just try not to let yourself spiral into um, a puddle of a person. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. Um, bye. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.